cataractcoach.com. How to manage a floppy old bag. Global xylopathy makes this case very tricky. Watch carefully. This is an interesting case. So look at that small eye, 1.23 millimeter anterior chamber depth. Wow. So 21 millimeter axial length and 1.2 millimeter AC depth. So a very shallow AC. You know, these tiny eyes are the most stressful ones. So blue dye used to stay in the capsule. Now getting a Rex is done. And watch carefully. It looks okay. Oh, wrinkling. See that? Look at the wrinkling of the capsule. Now, this is your sign that you know you're going to be in a world of trouble if you're not careful. The whole nucleus is moving, and the capsule was wrinkling as you're making the rexus. Oof. That anterior capsule rim was really deforming during the rexus. Now, here's a case where I like to get the nucleus out of the bag. I don't want to operate in the bag here. But the xylopathy here is bad. This is a floppy old bag. I'm talking about the eye, not the patient, right? Come on. So now, we'll do some higher dissection here. There we go. Again, I'd like this nucleus out of the bag. I don't want to operate in the bag at all. I'd rather be on top of the bag. Get that nucleus partially prolapsed. But let's see the technique here. Sucking down that anterior capsule. Okay, groove down the middle. Maybe stop and chop. I like stop and chop too. That's a good move. Just be very cautious as you split that nucleus. So good grooving down the middle there. And... Let's see what we're doing. We can split it. Yep, there's a split. Be careful. Look, look at that rexus move. Oh, my goodness. This is stressful. Now, this is the hint. The hint is that rex is moving. Okay, so divide and conquer. That works, too. That works, too. Split that up. Maybe get a quadrant out now. Or rotate, rotate. Again, in a case like this, I want to minimize rotating inside the bag. I'm just, I don't want to stress out that zonal support any more than it already is. And so look how the rexus keeps moving. That's your big clue here. That rex should not move, but it is moving a lot. So what I want you to do here in this case is watch the rexus. That's the key. Watch the rexus. So now taking out the nuclear pieces, half is out. Here comes the other half. That could be brought up and maybe a little chop here if you need to. There we go. Take those out. Now be careful. The bag is, of course, like I said, floppy. So once you stop weighing down the bag with lens material, you get all the lens material out, you get that epinuclear shell up, boom, the whole bag wants to come up. Again, watch. Where's the rexus? Look how much the rexus is moving. That's what you're watching. That rexus is moving all over the place. It's not even round anymore. The surgeon tore a beautifully round rexus, correct? Yes. But now it looks oval or ovoid. Why? Because of the zonulopathy here. Now, in a case like this, what do you like for the IOL? I like, in this case, a CTR, probably guess that, but I also like a three-piece lens with the haptics and the sulcus and the optic captured through the rexus. I find that'll really stabilize the side. I like the chopper there, by the way, or the second instrument to prevent the bag from coming up. Very smart move there. Now, for cortex removal, be cautious again. Don't strip away zonal support. Just get the cortex out. Oh, my God, look at that. Gee, that rexus is moving. Now, you haven't seen the capsular bag equator much, which is good. That's a good sign. But look how much the rexus has moved, how it's not round anymore. Now it's over. Look at that. As the infusion goes in, look how the bag just dances around. That's a really loose bag. Ooh, loose old bag. What are you going to do, right? Now, this glass going in. I like a CTR. Let's see what the surgeon does. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. And now with the viscoelastic in the bag looks pretty good, right? But you're not going to leave the viscoelastic in. Hey, check out cataractcoach.com, the website. So good on there. Fantastic search engine. You can see all the cases. You can go to that website and search for that. There's organized by keywords. I mean, it is so good. You really have to check it out. And now here comes the CTR. Again, look how much the rexus has moved. So being very cautious in inserting the CTR, here it goes with the injector. And slowly putting it in, and let's watch. Oh, my gosh, look at the, the movement of the bag. Look at the rex is changing and getting that in. Nicely done, though, very nicely done. Now it looks a lot better. See, the rex is now a lot rounder like it was the beginning of the case. And let's see what we're going to do for IOL choice. IOL choice here. Okay, single piece acrylic lens in the bag. You can certainly do that, too. This looks pretty good. But this is a tough case. This is a stressful case. This is a case where you tell the patient, you better appreciate the surgery because your surgery took a week off my life. The amount of stress in this case. This is stressful. And so now uh, finishing up the case here, 
Ooh, stealing up the incision. That's going to be a nice outcome of this patient. The patient's going to be very happy. Again, I would prefer a single, a three-piece lens in the sulcus with optic capture, but this is certainly very reasonable. And just watch this patient in the post-op period. You may need to, you know, do something about xylopathy in the future should it get worse, such as suture the CTR to the eye for more stability. Ooh, stressful case. And again, check out our podcast. Every week, a brand new episode. So many great guests. And we give away all the secrets to ophthalmology.